you're full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Oh, hey, Ed. How you doing? Oh, how you doing, David? Swell, I guess. Hmm. Oh, you remember my kid brother, don't you? Well, I sure do. How's your daddy doing? He's been better, huh? But he's doing pretty good, considering. It must be awfully hard on you. And your mom. Well, say, why don't you bring him over sometime after church? Well, it's been a while since I've seen him. Yeah, we like that. Well, good then. All right, good seeing you. Well, you, you too. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, boss. You're running late again, eh, Suze? Well, uh, like I said, uh, my mama, she, uh, uh, <clears throat> so you here to help me out, or you afraid of getting your hands dirty again, piano boy? Um, actually, the carnival's in town, and I was thinking maybe I could. <laughs> I'm going to the girly show, eh? Well, maybe you could take Susie with you. Susie'd make a nice girlfriend. Roger Sackrider's my boyfriend. You know that. <laughs> Little shit. boy. Now get going, or we'll make a girl out of you.
Then. Dead. Dinner's ready. Put your napkin in your laps. Mr. Wilczek says I could play in the piano recital. Um, he says I'm, I'm, I'm good enough that I, I can play in front of everybody. And piano recital. <sighs> Fucking shiffy. I made your favorite vegetables tonight. You know. There ain't gonna be no goddamn recital. It's time you learn how to be a man, for Christ's sake. Making money with me. Not playing sissy boy fucking piano recitals. It'll only be for one night. Oh, shit! The real world. It's about making a living and supporting your family. That's what I do. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna bring you down to the shop with me tomorrow morning. And by God, you're gonna start earning a living. Can I be excused? No, you can't. Now shut up and eat your goddamn dinner. <laughs> Just go to your room and eat there, like the last time. Sit down, boy! Everything's fine. Now let's just pray. You go to hell. Sandra.
leave me alone. Come with me. No. Get away from me. Talking's the last thing you like to do. I haven't changed my mind about you, David. Have you changed, David? Obviously not. Every summer we come back, every fourth, I watch you sitting there, fondling yourself, following me down the midway, like a lovesick dog. But you're really a vicious animal, aren't you, David? Well, I'm not gonna let you hurt me again. Hurt you? I'm not gonna hurt you. Let's just take a walk. No. What are you afraid of? Look at me. I can't. Come on. You know I want you again. Mm. Lucky me. You made mom cry again, didn't you? I didn't do anything. Why do you talk back to her like that? Huh? You know what she's going through with dad. I just can't believe you do that to her. Night after night. You make me sick.
for a drink, Frank. Come here. I said come here. Listen, don't go out again. It's not safe. And I don't like it when you go out. So don't do it again. Do you understand? Yes, Frank. I adore you. Seldom is heard a discouraging word. And the hat is all mine today. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> Give back my hat! Right now! Lola, you wouldn't happen to have Harriet's hat, would you? Harry doesn't need the hat. It makes her look stupid. Well, it's hers, though. Why don't you give it back? And get along. It's late. I'm sorry. It still looks stupid. Can I help you? You're the singer from the show, right? It's late. I just want to talk to you. Th that's all. Good night, kid. Wait. I admire your persistence. I didn't mean to bother you. I just wanted to talk to you. Why? I... <sighs> I've never seen anyone like you before. That's all. Come around. Lord, you must be with the carnival. Uh, we're closed. Excuse me, can I help you? I doubt it. Oh, uh, well, like I said, we're pretty closed. <laughs> Where's Dave White? Um, where is he? You are so tall. Um, well, he's gone home. He's where does he live? Um, I, I don't know. Tell me where he lives! Mo! So, what can I do for you, kiddo? Uh, that song you were singing? It's my favorite. Uh, I played on the piano all the time. You play the piano? Yeah. So you're a musician? Well, my mom let me play one time in church, uh, but I don't really have any money. I I'd love to go away and, and, and be a, a musician, um, but she says I should stay here and take care of things and be a, a, a good person. If you want to make music, you can make music anywhere. Just as long as you make it. But I'm sure your teacher has told you as much. I taught myself. I don't, I don't have a teacher. Really, that's extraordinary. You must be truly gifted. My mother was a singer. 
just in small clubs around Chicago. She was very supportive of my singing. But what's wrong? Oh, I just, I haven't thought about that in a long time. The show took me away from all that. Well, I could play piano in your show and, and we could go away together. Who is it? Who's with you? Be still, not a word. Who's here? Get out, David. You're still drunk. <sighs> Go home. Why are you treating me like this? I love you. <laughs> you love me. <laughs> you don't even see me when you look at me. You bore me to tears! <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? You don't want me, David. All you want is somebody, anybody. You owe me. You understand? You just can't be my woman one year. And then tell me to fuck off the next. Yeah, I can. You got me pregnant, David. Decimated everything in me. You had my child? No. Show me where it was. I want to feel where it was. <laughs> Not here. Oh, God. Make sure he's okay and help him out of here. Okay, and don't say anything to Frank. We. Oui. You hear me? We. Oui. Not a word. Don't leave me. Hail Mary. Of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary. The Lord is with me. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of my womb. Jesus. Mother of God, pray for us sinners. And at the hour of our death, Oh, my 
lives with me. <laughs> blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of my womb. Pray for our sin. No. Pray for our sin. At the hour of his death. Flamingo Police Department. Susie Jenkins. Susie, you need to calm down. David and Travis left around six. I stayed behind to close up. I don't like being here alone. Who's the other man? He had on a real pretty coat. But he was mean. Mean as a snake. I could tell they was with the carnival. They had that Look. What's wrong? We're losing money. Well, maybe if you'd spend a little less on your habit, Frank, and a little more on the hands that clean up after us when we move on. Wouldn't let us back to Topeka because we left so much dreck on their fairgrounds. No. You need to be a more disturbing sight. We need more ugly people for the crowds to see. More freaks. What we need, Frank, is promotion. When we got to Marysville, they hardly knew we were there until the weekend. But now tell me this. What have you been thinking about? You've been staring out that window all morning. see anybody, did you? Did you? Who did you see? Who did you see?
ever. <laughs> See? We're together forever. I was thinking about the operation. The remedy, as you call it. did it for you. <laughs> Mom! Dad's gone out again. David, he, he's gone. Oh, when you shine. <coughs> um. things going, Jimmy? Hi. Your brother home? No. He left. He got a fling? Guess so. Your dad's worried. He's crazy. Jimmy, uh, has, uh, has your brother been acting uh, different recently? Well, the tire shop closes at 10, so we don't actually see each other except sometimes at, at dinner. Come on. I know how brothers talk. What's going on with him? I wouldn't want you to tell my tell my mom this, but and I, 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 I wouldn't even mention it. But um, uh, he, he t told me about about this woman, um, singer in, in in the girly show. She was real secretive, um, so it, it made me think she was she was she was married or. Something anyway. Um, but then he up, up and left and went up north. And uh, I guess maybe to see her. Can I ask you a question? Just between you and me? Yeah, sure. Does your brother drink too much? No. <laughs> he... He works so hard to, to, to support us. So, so mom doesn't have to. Blake. 
are you going, Ed? No place. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Hey, you, uh, you didn't sell a ticket to Dave White anytime last week, did you? Nope. Why? Can't seem to find him. Well, maybe he's off on one of them binges again. Marjorie Miller told me Leroy says he misses work all the time. That's so. Well, I'll be if that ain't the strangers. Good morning. Why, well, look at that. Lovely day here in Wamigo. Uh, unfortunately, I missed my ride. Uh, do you happen to have a couple of tickets to Hiawatha? Is that the next stop for the carnival? Yes, indeed it is. Who let you out of your cage, you fucking faggot? That'll be 532. Uh, that leads us to another unfortunate uh, uh, coincidence. I'm, I'm a little short. On the, uh, hey, hold on there. I'll take care of it. First, give them their tickets. Thank you very much. Much obliged. Hey! I'm talking to you, freak show. Zeke, get back inside. Now. Oh. Oh. I went to school with Dave White. Now, I may be running a hunch, but I think he's gone off with the carnival. I'm gonna ask you to go up north and see if he's there. Are you serious? You seem excited. Well, you never let me do anything. I mean, this is exciting. A double life? Yeah. Well, I figure it's time you've seen the other side of the river. Well, look, I wanna ask you to stay quiet about this until we know something. This could get hard on Dave's family. Sure thing, boss. Hey, can I take your gun up there? I wouldn't trust you with my yardstick. Scare kids. <laughs> People say she has powers. I think she just wants to be left alone. Mom, are you ready to go? I'm not going to church today. Have I been a good mother? slip by so sudden.
you're a young man now. Things would get better for us. I've done everything I can think of to do. And it just gets worse. Mom, you did the best you could. We're okay. We're okay. Yes, I think we're okay, aren't we? I love you. And no matter what I did, I... I'll do anything for you. And we'll be okay. And we'll be happy again. Wait a sec, ma'am. Ma'am? Oh, sir, I'm an officer of the law, sir. I just uh, had a couple questions about a missing person, sir. This guy, David White. You know, I've made a career of talking to men. I've seen so many faces in so many towns. We all start to look the damn same. Let's see it. Never seen him before. So you didn't sleep with him? <sighs> Lord, I'm sorry, ma'am. <sighs> sure didn't mean to offend anybody. <laughs> Time's up. Well, um, thanks for your time. Daylight's disappeared. I can't say. Oh my god. Well, listen, I'm gonna go tie her in the backyard so she can run around. You just make yourself at home. Oh, where are my manners? Can I get you something to drink? Would you like some iced tea? I got root beer, tang. No, 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 no. I, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm wondering. Have you seen anything um, strange or unusual in the neighborhood recently? Well, I am up nights breastfeeding because I don't, I do not give her yum yums during the day, only at night. So I can't help but look out the window and there's always something going on over there. And sometimes I tell you, it is more wicked than TV. Oh, do you know Maggie Peters? Sure. She says that he takes the car down to the river and sleeps in it. Because that David, you know, he's such a mean, mean drunk. Now, have you seen Dave White since the 4th? Um, hmm, let's see. Nope, sure haven't. 
I haven't seen anybody. Okay, well listen, this is this has been been very helpful. Can I ask you if you should notice anything? Would you give me a holler? Oh, yes. You know, I read detective novels. Right. Well, I just I, I just want to tell you that I have read some you paint your toenails red look how good that would look because it, it didn't match my costume oh can I borrow that though sure you should get these fixed I know I gotta sell that one what do you want the usual with a extra handful what's going on here boys all of me Sandra who wants to go first Stay You said it was okay. You're I thought fine. you said you're fine. Okay. What do you want me to do? Nothing. Okay. Bye, Bye. boss. Anybody home? Sorry about that, Mr. White. What can I do for you today? I was wondering if you had any astringent that could take uh, shoe polish out of carpet. I think we've got something. See, my son spilled some polish on the stairway, and oh, I scrubbed and scrubbed away, but to no avail. 
it, it didn't come out. I see that. Well, uh, we just got some new stuff in. I can, uh, let me take in the back and see if I can, see if I can get it out. All right, Miss Wyatt, let me just take it into the back. There, there you go. I'll be right back. I'm sorry, Mr. White. I, I tried everything and I couldn't seem to get it out. Um, uh, why don't I wait till Dad comes home and see if he's got some more ideas and we can try that. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> see, I pulled the square up from the stairway. No, I think I better go ahead and take that with me. I need to replace it because someone could trip. See. Right, what, were you looking for some new carpet? Because we got lots of great colors. I don't think you understand me. It has to be the same carpet. Don't you have something here that's like what I have in my house? Uh, actually, no. Uh, we sold out of that. It's discontinued and like I said, we don't have any more. Same carpet. Isn't that the same carpet over there? No, no, I don't think so. No, oh, I think maybe that would be fine. Would you sell me that? Because I, I, I think that would cover fine. Well, I really can't. Uh, it's, I mean, it's used, and I'd have to take it up and. Being my dad's store and all, I just couldn't, I couldn't sell that. Sorry. I see. But I'd be happy to come over and uh, measure your staircase and we got lots of great colors. Yeah, today. Miss White? Are, are you okay? Sorry. Miss White, are you okay? Sorry, Ed. No, I, John's in the hospital. My head aches. No, I, I've, I've got to lie down for a bit. Actually, Eleanor, I was wondering if you've heard from David. Oh, sure. Oh, sure, Ed. He, he called last night from Topeka, from my sisters. Can you give me the number? Oh, I'm afraid not. No, I, you'd have to look that up. Yeah, um... My sister Rosie and I, we never did get along, and uh, we haven't spoken since Daddy died. Well, when's he coming back? I don't know. I'm awful tired, Dad. We took all his clothes and 
I wouldn't be surprised if he never came back. Sorry, well, I've got to lie down. Do you mind if I come in? Come on up, I'll show you. Uh, he left on the 4th. You getting some new carpet? Um, he, um, spilled some shoe polish and wouldn't come out. Yeah. Ruined the whole piece. See, he took all his clothes. David didn't call, did he, Eleanor? He isn't in Topeka, is he? Well, Ed. No, he didn't call. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just so used to him doing this, I just don't think about it anymore. Sometimes he's gone for days on end. Um, I don't know what he does. I don't know where he is. I'm sorry. But I don't feel too good. I'd like to lie down. He didn't run off with that carnival. He's still here somewhere. We gotta find that last bit of carpet. Miss Sandra. You found the enigma. Oh, can't believe we left without you. I don't know what I'm going to do without all of you. Promise me that you'll be careful. What do you mean? Where are you going? Uh, are you leaving us? I have to. Oh? We were just talking, Frank. Just talk. That's all. Thank you. Never! <gasps> Run off like that again. And where do you think you're going? Let's just say, anywhere without you! Don't talk to me <gasps> like that! You can't leave me! You're mine! Completely! just want the crowds. You don't care about us. Crowds? What crowds? Is anybody out there lining up to see you? No, they want the rides and the candy. We're going out of business because of you! 
You want all these freaks? Look at them! No one wants to see someone so low to the ground. No one cares what color you are. One more wouldn't be enough, would it? And you, your days are long gone, my dear. This is it. Remember, you've got nobody but me. Where else are you gonna go? I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go back to Chicago. Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I love you. And I'll be good. God damned! I'm gonna let you walk away from me. I saved you! Look. You ran away. Ugh. Nobody wanted you back. No one wants you still. Look! Look at you in this amazing world! I created it for you. I give you everything! And who do you think would... Do you... Anyone would want a thing like you? <laughs> We're not freaks. You just can't run the show. <laughs> Sing to me. Sing to me. Here's your plate, honey. Put your napkins in your laps. Eat your dinner, Jimmy. Mommy forgot something. You need to eat your dinner. I made it for you. Now eat. Can I move in with Aunt Rosie? Why would you say anything like that? What's come over you? You were fine today. What's gotten into you? What in God's name has gotten into you? Well, I, you can't talk like this at the dinner. Just, I won't tolerate it. David would let me. What did you say? I wish you were still here. Again. Do you hear me? Ever! But I mean it. Don't! Don't say that! I'm leaving. Do you hear me when I'm talking? 
to you. Come back down here when I'm talking to you. What are you doing? That's my money. You can't take that. It's all I have. That's all I have left. No, give it back to me. Please, please put it back. <laughs> David, no, please, no. David, no, please don't do that. No! Mom, I'm not doing anything. Is everything okay? Why are you here? I came to see Jim. He's gone, Ed. He ran away. He took all my money and he ran away. Why would he do that now? Ursula! Did Jim White come in here tonight? Yeah, it took the last bus left five minutes ago. Damn it! Where's it headed? All the way to Winnipeg, but he paid the bus driver, so no, I don't know where he's going. And what time does it pull into Winnipeg? I don't know. Well, thank you. Good night. And just as a note, by the way, we close at 8. Shut up. Please, God. I can hear his body screaming. Tell him to stop. What have you done? We must return. What's wrong? I came to talk to you about Jimmy. Oh my God. Did something happen to him? Ma'am, do you recognize this? Yes, well, that's David's suitcase. Where did you find it? Eleanor, we think Jimmy may know something. He's not telling us. Why did David give that to you? I'm afraid I don't understand. Eleanor, we think David may have been killed. You killed my son? Hey, you've taken all his things! You give that back to me! You give that back to me! You can't take Jimmy! He's all I've got! You can't take Jimmy! You give Jimmy back to me!
Sandra? Sandra? My God, what are you doing here? I came to leave with you. Came what? To, I, I, I came to go away with you. I, we could see places, and I, I, I could work in the tent on your show, and I could... I... No, you couldn't. This is no place for you, Jimmy. Go back. I, I, I can't go back. I, I, I feel safe with you. Don't lie to yourself, Jimmy. You don't want this. Go home. I'm sorry. Wait. I can't wait. If they see you talking to me, they could kill you. I, I, don't say it. Just get out of here. Oh, you're going to have to forget about me, Jimmy. Forget you ever knew me. Don't think about it. Just go. Hurry before they see you. Why can't I stay? It's not up to me, Jimmy. If you're too young to realize you're just a kid, I can't do anything for you. But you're my friend. I know. And I want to get out, too. But there's nothing I can do about it. But this is my dream. Can't we try? I have. Believe me, I have. You know, you should... You should see me. See what my dreams have done to me. No, I had buried my dreams long ago. But you woke them up, didn't you? You made them come alive. But you have a lifetime ahead of you, Jimmy. Find another place to dream your dreams and make them come true. Not in this ugly world. Can't. Yes, you can. You can. Dream your dreams and then do them, damn it. You do them. Now you turn around and walk out that door. You do it for me. I can't leave you. Be strong. Don't look back. Do it for me. Run away from me. I just never expected this from the Whites. Uh-uh. I think we should call the hospital and learn it. Eleanor needs help. You think you could make that call for me? I just don't think I could bring myself to do it. Sure. Thanks, Harry. Et 
Leef le blissant, les fous l'ombre se glisse dans le jardin, le logitise descend très loin, je croise en temps de ton Le vent m'apporte de l'ouïe l'entente Et dans ma porte j'écoute ton bas Et il n'y a plus rien Plus rien me vient J'étendrai Tendré toujours ton retour. J'attendrai qu'un oiseau qui s'enfuit vient chercher l'oubli dans son nid. Le temps passe et coule. Tristement dans mon cou Et pourtant j'ai tant tout Get the crowds again. They'll come from miles around to see it. You'll be our ticket. Our little monster. You betrayed me. You lied to me! And I'll never forgive you. You'll never get out of that skin. you're alive. Many years it's been since I've been allowed to use a phone. Years, years, and years. Why do you let you? I'm free, Jimmy. I finally found the courage to go home, and I want to thank you for that. Well, will you come to Wamigo then? Will you come and see me? Well, maybe not. That's what I wanted to tell you. There's a chance I won't see you again. Sandra, we gotta go. I just wanted to say goodbye, and, uh... Um... I love you, Jimmy. So, if I don't see you later, kiddo, um... Never forget your dreams. Sandra? Sandra? Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Tell me where she is. I know she killed him. We buried his body last night. No one needs to know. Where is she? she she's gone. Where? Where is she, blue boy? I won't hurt you, and I won't hurt your little pussy cat if you bring her to me. Think about it. Take you to the costume trailer. Harriet's got a bus ticket, and we've collected a little money. You'll be safe here for now. They will be looking for you. Just wait for the crowds. Wait for twilight. Thank you, Nick. You come on. Your mother. <laughs> I've just taken your father to the nursing home. He'll be better off there. Now let's get you some supper. Mom. Mom, I need to talk to you. No, I don't want to talk. Do you understand? I. I'm not going to discuss it. Why is there blood all over your hands? Mom? Why have you gone and done that? Is this for my sins? You have a father, an old man, and a young brother, the child of his old age, and the brother is dead. He alone in his mother's house. The Holy Father loves him. This lad must not leave again. For if he leaves, his mother will die. Unless you bring the youngest brother with you, you shall not see my face again. If you take this one also and harm a false him, you will bring down sorrow my house.
This cake is so good, Ed. Wanna try some of it? I'll stick with my pie. The people from uh, Arnold are supposed to come here tonight. We should go over there. What time is it? Clock's out again. It's her. She's back. Why do you cover it up? Why do you hide? Don't you see? It will never go away. Why do you ignore me? Come. I will lead you to the grave. We need to get the corner. Ed? Have you come to see David? Is he still out there? Is he still out there in the shed? Because he's late. You tell him. It's too late for his supper now. Mom. Don't let him take you away. Don't let him take you to that place. I killed him. I killed him. <laughs> the Lord will be with you always. But my guilt is more than I can bear. <laughs> it was me. I did it. He hurt her. He hurt her so bad. I killed him. <laughs> he deserved it. He's been a bird. Is it art thou amongst women? No man who spreads deceit shall dwell in my house. Eleanor? These are the men who came to help you. He came from the fires of hell. He came from the fires of hell.
Now do you see what you've done? Nothing happens in Kansas. I wish we could have a group picture. Just picture us in your mind. 